state budget crisis is casting a shadow over state parks this holiday weekend. Last year's state budget brought cutbacks in the system of 110 state parks and 30 state forests. And this year, the red ink is even deeper. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis live tonight with more. Mark. Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. People visit Connecticut State Parks between 8 and 9 million times a year. More than 2 million alone at Hammonasset State Park. Last year, the state cut back on lifeguards at the state park beaches so that they are only staffed Wednesday through Sunday during the peak summer season. There are only about 35 park maintainers for the entire state park system after the layoff of 12 earlier this month. One state rep says the cutbacks mean fewer lawn cuts. It was kind of chilling to see every single campsite with grass knee high. The Malloy administration has already announced that some state parks will have what they describe as passive management, which really means little to no maintenance. The situation has become so acute that some Republicans are joining with Democrats in calling for a new fee or tax for the exclusive use of funding the parks. My constituents are becoming increasingly aggravated with the prospect of not being able to get into public property and not having it taken care of. It would be a $10 so-called passport to the parks fee on your auto registration. In return, all Connecticut residents would pay no admission fee to any state park. Camping fees would remain. Well, $10 would not pay for the operations of the parks. The governor said today that it's an interesting idea, but a $10 fee on auto registrations would only generate about half the money needed. The Speaker of the House said today that the leadership is committed to the parks, but it is all subject to budget negotiations, which remain in flux. We don't have a budget at all. I, I'm not sure those parks will be open on July 1st. So this uh, passport idea is estimated to raise between 10 and 14 million dollars a year. It costs just under 20 million a year to operate the state park system in Connecticut. The parking and camping fees raise about 6 million. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.